Hey y'all, I am back with another video and this time I'm going to be sharing how I created my DIY Traveler's Notebook and Binder Rings. I've been seeing this a lot lately and I couldn't wait to try it and so I'm going to share with you how I did that today. Um, I first want to mention that the majority of the pattern papers that I'm using are from the Pink Paisley Memorandum collection, I believe. I got it from Michaels for, in their little hot buy section and I probably got it for like $5 or something like that and it, they aren't super thick um, and they are like probably the best quality paper but I fixed that by double siding the majority of those papers and you'll you'll see that here in just a second. So all my pages are cut to eight and a quarter by four and a quarter so I just want to put that out there in case you want to do the same size. I, I made it pretty easy by just cutting it to that size and that's pretty similar to a standard traveler's notebook. The first thing that I'm doing is I'm actually measuring out my holes for um, my front and back covers and I'm using chipboard and then I'm going to cover those with pattern paper as you see I'm doing now. The way that I got my holes to be um, kind of spaced out in that way is I actually measured it um, by using my page protector. So I grabbed my page protector and I kind of set it on top of that chipboard. I made circles and then that's how I'm um, measuring each uh, one of my pattern papers and actually once I get these chipboard pieces covered with the, the pattern paper I'm going to actually use that as my key for the rest of the patterns that are going to be going in between the book. So I'm using standard like the Tomo Mono adhesive that is a tape runner. I use either the tape runner or the dot runner and actually for something like this um, I typically would choose uh, the tape runner because it's a little bit stronger and now you see me using that probably front or back cover of the uh, Traveler's Notebook to measure out the holes for the rest of the um, pages. Now I will say if you have like a fancier tool than just your standard one hole punch you could probably um, make this quicker or something and punch a bunch at the same time. I don't so I do have to do them like one at a time which is not too bad but I didn't think it was necessary to go out and buy like a brand new tool for something like this when I have one that can work. It's just going to take me a little bit of extra time. I noticed that that one was coming up a little bit so I went ahead and um, used my tape runner to uh, tape that down and then at this point I'm just going to punch the holes. This is a super quick video by the way because this did not take long to make at all. In fact, let me tell you, it did not take near as long as it takes me to make a standard traveler's notebook. I cannot get those pages even. I can't get the book to stitch or staple the way that I want it to. It always ends up like I always end up having to trim a bunch off. And so this isn't going to be a nice adjustment. The other thing that I'm going to love about this is I can pull the pages out and stamp on them and I don't have to worry about it being too bulky. Like the page before, I'm always like, well, I, I can't stamp on that. I always have to stamp on the right size because on the right side because the left page always like has the bulk underneath and so that's always a struggle. So I'm going to add those pocket pages in um, and then I get my binder rings ready and then you guys are actually going to see me decorate the front cover which isn't going to take me very long. I keep it super simple um, and I just am loving the colors in this too. The other great thing about this is because I did all of these double sided and you can add white if you want white in yours and I think next time I'll probably add some white and here's the cool thing. I can go in and add pieces of white if I really want to. So, um, but uh, I think what's cool about this is that you don't really have to worry about covering each one of these with pattern paper. You can just pull out your supplies and start working on it. So here's a quick flip through of the um, finished product. And I did put this on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram because I do um, post things like, I posted a flip through on this yesterday before I even got to posting it on this and so I just do things a lot quicker on that uh, kind of format or platform and so uh, follow me on Instagram and I'll leave that down below it's Ashley underscore Laura underscore scraps so I just added two little embellishments so the first embellishment is just from Studio Calico kit from a couple months ago I think it probably came in the March kit maybe the April but probably the March I'm not 100% sure on that. That was the ones with the stars, the one with the stars. And then the other one is came in like a big bundle that I got on Black Friday. And I actually, it's actually a DIY embellishment where I just added a little cork star on top and then stapled it. And I had that in my stash. So I decided um, to add that right on top. And then to bring out that cork, I always like to kind of have two or three pieces of cork or two or three elements of cork on my pages. Um, just to kind of bring that kind of boldness around the page, if that makes sense. Um, and I simply added 2018 with these Allie Edwards numbers that came in a kit and then a ticket that probably came in a recent um, 
probably the planner kit from this month for Studio Calico. I'm not 100% sure on that. But anyway, that is the finished product, and it's super quick and simple, easy. Um, I hope you guys will try it out, and I hope I can follow some of you on Instagram, too, so I can kind of see what you guys are creating. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.